Hey guys, this is Netrix. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to install Ubuntu server on your machine. Um, the first window you will be prompted with once you boot from the CD is the language which you will select with the um, arrow keys on your keyboard and then hit enter to choose your language. What I like to do then is choose my key map or keyboard layout, which for me is USA International. Uh, for you it might be something different. Again, use your arrow keys to choose and then enter to select it. Once I've done that, I want to install Ubuntu server, so I just hit enter here. It will again prompt me to choose the language, so I'll stick with English and my location, which for simplicity's sake I'll just choose the default. And it will now load some files from the CD. So I'll get back to you when that's done. Here you want to add in the host name, or basically the name of your server. For simplicity I'll just keep everything at the default. Next, it will try and detect your the physical location of your server uh, and set up time and date for you. So it found my physical location or the physical location of this machine as Asia Bangkok, which is correct. If for some reason it shows you the wrong location, you can choose no and it will give you a list where you can choose your uh, time zone. And after that, we will come to the, the partitioning uh, part. Uh, for me, I use guided, use entire disk, and set up LVM. LVM stands for Logical Volume Manager. Uh, if you have more than one um, server or operating system on your hard drive, so you have various uh, partitions, you can choose manual and set everything up manually. And click OK for this. And click Yes. You want to remove existing logical volume data. And then you want to Yes, write the changes to disk and confirm uh, logical volume manager. Here you want to specify the size. Um, you can either leave it at the default, uh, I just like to type max, which means I'll use the entire disk. You can also type in percentages, which is an easy way of partitioning uh, your hard drive. And enter to continue, and we'll let this do its thing, and I'll uh, confirm this and let it complete, and I'll get back to you when that's done. Okay, username and password is going to be similar or going to be the same as with any operating system or any program. Just type in the name you want and give it a password. Make the password quite difficult to guess but easy to remember and use capital letters, small letters, numbers and signs or symbols. Um, just to keep it simple for this tutorial, I'll uh, have one, two, three, and you can see it says here that it's a very weak password. So you definitely don't want to be using this. Uh, do you want to encrypt your home directory? I'll leave this up to you. I like to encrypt it. And this will take a couple of minutes to do. And now you want to specify any of your proxy information. If you don't use a proxy or you don't know what a proxy is, then just leave it blank and hit enter. Do you want to um, or do you want Ubuntu server to download and install security updates automatically? You can choose whichever is uh, best for you here. Okay, this is where you install software that you want to have on your server. Uh, you can choose various uh, things that you're going to use your Ubuntu server for, like a mail server. Uh, what I'm going to do is install LAMP server, which stands for Linux Apache MySQL PHP. To select it, you use your spacebar. 
and your arrow keys to go up and down. I will then also like to install a mail server, so again I select mail server by hitting the spacebar on my keyboard. Um, that's it for now. That's it for now. You can install um, open SSH server, DNS server, or anything like this uh, later on if you need it. So don't worry too much that you're going to miss something uh, that you might need later on. Um, to continue, hit enter, and this will install a selected software, which might take a while depending how much you chose to install. Um, for my SQL, um, I need a password for root. Uh, again, try and make this as difficult to uh, guess, but easy to remember. And for my mail server, I want an internet site and name it. Um, you can do whatever you want here. Uh, Nitrix mail for me. Also, don't forget, uh, Linux can tell a difference between a capital and a small letter, uh, unlike Windows. So you want to write it uh, either always small, or make sure you remember whether you had capital or small letters. So we'll let that install and configure itself, and I'll get back to you when it's done. Uh, when I ask you if you want to install the Grub bootloader, you can click yes. Oh, sorry, hit enter for yes. And I will finish off the installation by setting up your username and password, uh, wiping the swap space, configuring the clock, and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, installation is complete. To uh, continue and reboot, you click continue. And when you've done that, you want to remove the Ubuntu server CD from your CD drive. So it'll automatically reboot your computer. And you can just uh, keep it at the default, the first one. And this will load Ubuntu server from your hard drive for the first time. What I'm going to show you now is how to get and install um, the updates for Ubuntu server, which is what you want to do the first time you install it. So, login, my login name was Nitrix. My password was 123. Uh, you're just going to add your information there. Now the first thing you want to do is type in sudo minus one, uh, minus i, sorry sudo, <laughs> minus i, and password. And you can see now it's changed from Nitrix at Ubuntu to root at Ubuntu. This means we can now sudo apt minus get um, update and this will start comparing our files to the files to the up-to-date files I have on the server and it will download um, whichever files it needs to complete the update. So I'll let this uh, finish off and I'll get back to you. So the updates are finished downloading. What we want to do now is actually install them. So you just on the keyboard hit up and that will give you what you wrote before delete update and change it to upgrade. Hit enter. Oops, sorry. My spelling is atrocious. Upgrade. Hit enter and this will prompt you if you want to continue. Y and enter. And this will install all of the updates. After you've done that, you can sudo reboot. Type in your password and your Ubuntu server will be updated and ready to use. So thank you for watching, I hope this helped you guys out a little bit. Um, please give me some comments and feedback how I can improve my videos. Um, 
See you.